All right, in this video, I have a new pair of Air Jordan 2 sneakers. This one is actually kind of cool. I've never seen uh, one like this before, and it's kind of crazy because the Air Jordan 2 uh, wave has definitely kicked into full effect. Uh, we had the off-white lows that dropped last year. We have the unions that dropped this year, and then we had most recently my favorite and my contender for sneaker of the year, the Emmanuel Air Jordan 2s. Absolutely love uh, the way that those ones uh, were put together. But now we have another one, and actually I was most excited to see these out of all of the Air Jordan 2s because of the color blocking. They look pretty crazy. It's gonna be hard to beat the A Mamanier 2s though. Anyways, we have these, the Mation Chateau Rouge, and this is a uh, Air Jordan 2 Retro SP on the box, 9.5 US. Uh, it is an 8.5 UK for those wondering. And this is Sail, Citron, and Pulse Orange on the box. The box looks really cool. So it says on the front right here, United Youth International, and then Chicago, Dakar, Paris, whatever that means. From what I understand, the, the Mason Chateau Rouge is like a Paris uh, brand. But the box details is super crazy as well. And here is a look at the shoes. So these things, really crazy looking design. And I'll get into some of the details and why they chose this in a minute. The paper, box paper is nice. And then this is like the highlight though. Check out the little Jordan like picture on the bottom there in that artwork with the Air Jordan 2s. Not too terrible there, really nice looking. You have the three sets of laces, uh, which I absolutely love. You have the yellow, the brown, the orange. And of course, first things first, you gotta address it. It looks like Reese's Pieces. Uh, those three color combinations is pretty iconic. And I'm a huge fan of Reese's Pieces, to be honest. Um, and like, if I'm gonna go to a movie theater, like Reese's Pieces is it. Like, leave a comment in the comment section. What candies do you usually rock with? Reese's Pieces is the one I go to usually uh, almost every time. Butterfinger's also pretty good, but Reese's Pieces. But honestly, first impression, the materials are okay. They're not like super fancy. Like the materials on the Emma Meniere's, I thought were definitely like top notch, especially with the uh, leather wrapped midsole. This is like decent, but it looks like a, kind of a cheaper tier of material, unfortunately. That doesn't take away from the overall aesthetic and design though. I think that they knocked that out of the park. Anyway, let's get into some words what Nike says about the product. So with Mation Chateau Rouge, Jordan brand aims to unite youth international. Jordan brand's collaboration with MCR further cements Jordan's multifaceted connection to the city of Paris. Inspired by African heritage and the union of different cultures of Chateau Rouge. Founded by Yusuf Fofana, Mason Chateau Rouge aims to create a new cultural heritage for Fofana's Chateau Rouge neighborhood and bring it to the world. With Jordan brand, Fofana captures the youth culture in his Paris, translating both African influence and multicultural energy of the area into a new collection of footwear and apparel. It's a reminder that while every project starts small, on a local court or small neighborhood dream, there are no boundaries to how far uh, the message can spread. The Jordan brand Mation Chateau Rouge collection launches on June 24th. Now, I haven't seen anything on uh, Nike's website or on Sneakers app yet about these sneakers. So if they did drop on the 24th, which I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video, hopefully on the 24th, um, it didn't show up as of yet, but I did get these from End Overseas. I actually bought these when I was in uh, Manila, which is crazy. I actually hit on a pair of these uh, and I was really excited because honestly, it was just one of those shoes that I was definitely wanting to get. I can't remember the price. I think they were like 220 uh, shipped, but uh, end with the quickness, man, they ship pretty fast. I'll go over some of the details of the shoe, but I'll try to fill in the blanks in the description of the video because honestly, I don't know all the layers of like inspiration that they use to create this model. Obviously you just heard the African heritage and whatnot kind of as a backdrop. So maybe that's part of the jagged edges that you could see around kind of the raw edge um, shark teeth lining around the uh, laces, but I'm not sure what the candy cane pattern is all over the place. Maybe that's something specific to their brand. I'm not very familiar with um, the, the Mason Chateau Rouge brand at all either. So this is kind of like a newer thing for me, uh, the fact that they had a collaboration and it kind of brings light onto smaller brands like that, which I think is kind of cool. One of the best details that I can see on the shoe is the insoles. I love the artistic approach with Jordan and his Air Jordan 2s and just the overall art of the pictures are really cool. Both of the insoles are different. I think that's awesome. So it has a sail color through the upper of the shoe and the Citroen has a nice little outline around the mid panel of the shoe. Also around that you can see the pulse orange and then you do have a zigzag stitching on the back uh, back here as well as on the heel cup of the shoe and then the Nike logo back here. I do like that they added a little bit of material down on the tip of the shoe and you can see the little orange. I like that addition. It definitely adds a little bit of it's not featured on any of the other Air Jordan 2s that I see out here. Also just another small detail that I like uh, for this lace hole here you can see it has kind of some uh, pinstripes with brown and uh, the cream color. And again, it's just a nice little small detail that they added right there. Also, the liner of the shoe is done in a very soft material, but there's also little circles all over the place for the liner. Also on the reverse side of the tongue. And then you do have the like baseball stitching in orange across 
the top of the tongue as well. Very nice detail. The Air Jordan Wings logo on the tongue is also done in that Citron color. Very nice uh, extra detail there. So just like a little bit of subtle hints of the Citron and the subtle hits of the orange that really make this thing pop. Same as on the outsole, you see cream, orange, and then the yellow. Not too much of the brown, and, and I like that because then the brown would overpower the shoes. So brown is primarily just in the liner, and then also on the wings part here uh, for the laces. And then on the lace tips, you have all four colors uh, on the shoe. So again, very clean color blocking. The fact that they added uh, all four colors kind of just integrated uh, throughout the shoe, but not in an overpowering way where they're truly accents to the shoe. I think they did a great job with that. I think that the material usage for the upper is also a nice plus because you have at least one, two, three, four, five, you know, different textured materials, which definitely adds some depth to what you're looking at also. You do have some speckles on that midsole, which is definitely welcome as well. And then also that Nike logo on the back is pretty cool. It looks very like official, I guess. Nike with a period at the end of it. And then you do have the Mason Chateau Rouge on the other one, just pulling the entire theme together. So I think that they look great. Honestly, I think it's a really fun looking colorway. The materials aren't amazing to be honest, but at the end of the day, uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes with some of the collabs. If they want to be able to bring us something, I'm sure that they have to work within some sort of a budget. And sometimes you get the vision across, you have to supplement like lesser quality materials for just being able to do more out of the box sort of things that they did on here. And I'm assuming that's the case. I could be completely wrong. Anyways, leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Mason Chateau Rouge Air Jordan 2s? And I've been saying it wrong this entire time. I totally apologize. Uh, I should just say um, MCR or something like that. A anyway, uh, I think they look dope. I like the color blocking. I think they look really clean and uh, I'm happy that I was able to get a pair of these and add them to the collection. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy the content, please hit the subscribe button. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching. If you guys want to buy a pair of these, I'll link them to like eBay and stuff in the description. Hopefully prices aren't too crazy on them. Uh, but another welcome Air Jordan 2 to the collection. Happy to have uh, some of the other ones out here. Um, in my ranking, I would actually rank them the, uh, the Amon Manier first. I would do the Masons uh, second. I would do the Unions third. And then I'm not even including the uh, the low tops here because these are in its own little camp, I think. These things are phenomenal too. That's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll see you guys back for some more content very soon. All right, peace guys.